The end of school year means different things to different people. But one thing for sure, if you're a parent like me, when you see your lovely child crossing the door with that big smile on their face on their last day of school, alarm bells start to ring when you see they've got in their lovely little hands carrier bags full of paper that they've done throughout that whole school year. shove it in a wardrobe, the attic, or the garage to never be looked at again? And if you keep something, what do you keep and how? Start by setting your vision. What does the ideal scenario look like? Are you keeping things because you want to look at them with your child? Do you want to touch them? Do you want to be sitting in a sofa having a cup of coffee reminiscing about their childhood when they're older? Do you want to keep them for yourself? So when they're fled the nest, you can think about the time when they used to live with you and what type of children they were. Or is it for grandparents and visitors when they come home so you can all talk about what, how proud you are as a parent and what type of child you have. Another thing to keep in mind is that you know your child better than anyone else. So when choosing the things you're keeping, think about what distinguishes them, what tells the story about who they are, because otherwise they'll get lost in a lot of paperwork. If you choose rightly, that personality and character will shine through. As a proud parent of two, I know it's really difficult choosing exactly what you're going to keep. The most difficult period is when kids are four to seven years old of age. They produce a lot of cute things. So the best way is to think three to five things for each term where you can see how the child has progressed during that year. So how they trace numbers, how they trace letters, how they write their name, any outstanding piece of art, a recognition from a teacher. Those are the kind of things they're looking for. It gets easier when they are in the period from seven to 11 years old. As a rule of thumb, notebooks and workbooks are a big no-no. Don't keep a whole thing. Go through these notebooks. Tear up a page if they have a good grade, an award from a teacher, a recognition from the teacher, or as if they've done anything funny in that piece of work. Tear it out, take a picture, or put it in a cl clear file pocket. Then all the subjects that have to do with exact science, it's more difficult to see the personality of a child. So geography, science, maths, those kind of things, only if there's something quite outstanding. Otherwise, if it's literacy, spelling, art, that's where you see what type of child you have. Any piece of research, an extract of an article they've written, any outstanding art, those are the kind of things that will give you things to talk about and bring back the memories of that period in time. Now that you know what you're keeping, how do you keep it? So there's two camps here. So if you've imagined yourself scrolling through a screen or pressing a mouse while you're looking at your children's work, that means you're gonna go on the electronic side. So get a scanner or, and or a camera, take pictures of the work or scan the uh, individual pages and put them in online albums. And I'll put on the screen websites where you could get these albums done, otherwise, save them in electronic files within your computer. One per child, and in each child have subfolders with school years. Now, if you're going through the physical route, where you actually want to touch the paper, there's about three different ways you can go about it. Hanging files, boxes with hanging files, with tabs per year per child, or arch files, which is my favorite, and I do with my children, with clear file pockets, or Photo albums, the physical photo albums that I talked about, you can actually order them online and have them delivered. The exception here is big sheets of art. You can store them in display books or 
You can also take pictures of any chunky art and store them in these display books or fo clear file pockets. Diplomas and awards can be stored in frames to be displayed and show how proud you are of your ch children's achievements. Schoolwork are like photos. They bring back memories and tell a story. So make sure you keep them in a way where you can make the most out of it with your family. If you like this video and find it useful, subscribe and share with those who you think will find it useful. Until next time, bye.